that asleep One, two, three So, I'm having some pretty bad back pain. Bear with me. I actually had to fight through it pretty hard to shoot that intro, but I wanted to make a video for you guys. So I'm starting a new video series. That's what this is. Um, some of my viewers might like it, some of you might not. Feel free to not watch if you don't like it. Give it a chance. By the way, if you're new, just subscribe, you know, you can check out my content over the next week. If you don't like it, you can always unsubscribe. I won't hold it against you, but just go ahead and hit the subscribe button for now so we can get rolling. And today, we're kicking off a series, like I said, but more importantly, the series is going to be um, about building a custom electric guitar rig. I'm selling my trombone, which is $3,600 new probably be able to get three grand out of it and with some of that money I'm going to be putting together a custom electric guitar rig because as you guys know as you guys know I do music production and this is actually a really great opportunity to play an actual song for you guys that has electric guitar because you guys don't really hear my actual music ever you know you hear the music I make in the videos but um, here's a little snippet from an actual song that I'm actually proud of So basically, I've been doing a lot of recording of actual songs, and in these actual songs, I've been doing a lot of electric guitar. I've kind of discovered the ultimate recording weapon for my kind of music is electric guitar. You can use it to fill space, you can use it to play melodies, you can use it to spice up boring parts of music. So I've determined, you know, the next investment I need to make in music and to further continue to always improve is an electric guitar rig. Which to be honest, it's kind of daunting. I don't know a lot about electric guitars. So I want you guys, if you're into electric guitars, but back pain, oh, back spasms are the worst. Oh, if you're a doctor, tell me what to do. But more importantly, if you're an electric guitar person, help me on this journey, you know? Come to these videos and give me advice, give me pointers. Maybe you found my channel through this content. And if that's you, I find I need your guys' help. Now I want to take a moment to show you guys what I'm working with. I've put together a wish list on Amazon. Amazon. I've put together a wish list on Amazon and this is basically what it consists of. So here is my list. I'm just going to go through the basic ideas um, that are here and in this list. It's a lot of stuff, but I'm just going to go through some of it. I guess the theme of this video is I'm going to be talking about the budget pedals that I've really researched, looked into, and I think are going to be good, and later I'll do actual reviews. Um, not so much of a budget pedal as this one, it's the TC Electronics Flashback X4. Now there's a miniature version of this, let's see if I can find that. There's a little mini version uh, that they sell of this, but the problem with this specific delay is that there's not a very good way to do tap tempo and tap tempo is something that I really need for what I'm doing. So this is kind of going to be my foundational delay, I think. Um, now a really great budget pedal would be this Donor Yellow Falls Vintage Pure Analog Delay. Um, there's not a lot of options on this. This is kind of going to be the start of my analog delay. And so for $35, you can get a delay that is analog. It's only really one mode. There's not different kinds of delay but you can actually tweak some things on this specific pedal. So you can tweak your echo, your feedback, and your time. And then it also features true bypass, which is pretty important. You can kind of look through what I'm thinking about with me. Um, but I just want to show you kind of the budget pedals because there's quite a few. So here's another one. Digitech Dawn Gunslinger MOSFET. 
the reviews, the nine reviews that are on this pedal, they say that it's super versatile and it's just a great distortion. And so for $40, I believe, yeah, 40 bucks, we're gonna be testing that in the future. This is definitely gonna be one of the first pedals that I end up getting. Here's again, Donor, makes really cheap stuff, gets really great reviews. This is a fuzz pedal. Um, more on that later, but this is another great budget pedal. 130 reviews, 72% um, of which are five star, and only 0% of which are one star. Here's X Vive Overdrive Guitar Effect Pedal. And it's like a squasher, that's what they call it, the squasher. Now this is 20 bucks, 37 reviews, 87% of which are five star. Now, not all of these reviews are for the squasher specifically, but if you actually look at the reviews, they say a lot of good things about this pedal. And um, for 20 bucks, I think it's worth it. I can always return it if it doesn't work out, but you have some knobs for tweaking things. I mean, it's 20 bucks. If it can add a little bit of grunge to sound that's unique, and it's 20 bucks, I'm all for that. Super budget tuner, I probably won't go with this one. I'll probably go with Polytune. I really like Polytune. I have their clip-on tuner, but it's worth mentioning. I have put this in my list because for 30 bucks, you can get a tuner, 500 reviews. Uh, and then there's this EQ, $35. It has true bypass, has all sorts of different adjustments that you can make. I'll probably be getting this as one of my first pedals as well. Now here, $32, Joyo. Again, another budget pedal company. You have um, amplifier simulation. Now let's look at the different things you can tweak here. So you have an EQ, level, voice, and drive. Um, so this isn't like your typical pick and amp sort of emulator, but $32, again, you can add some signature to your sound. And I haven't tested these, so don't, don't go buying them and be mad at me if they end up not being good. These are pedals I'm gonna be getting in this series and I'm gonna be doing reviews on. But for now, I'm just taking you through what I'm gonna be buying. Baiyang, another very, very budget-oriented pedal company. Um, they make this reverb, it's called the Baby Boom. I don't know if I'm gonna get it, it's 50 bucks. I don't think reverb is something you wanna skimp on, so I'll probably be putting a little bit more money into that. Getting something like the Cathedral here, or the Big Sky Reverb by Strymon, I think. So you can kinda just look through the different elements that I'm looking at. This is probably going to be like the center of my pedal, and that's what the next video is gonna be about. It's gonna be how I'm actually designing this, like what my thoughts are. This is just a switcher, so you route in to these different channels, and then by clicking the buttons down below, you can either enable those channels or disable and fully bypass them. Again, power supply, probably not something you wanna skimp on, but I'll probably end up getting one of these cheap ones to see if it'll work and not cause noise. We'll see. Uh, the MOSFET's a little expensive. Um, okay, so here's a multi-modulation pedal made by Valatron. Valaton. 50 bucks. Um, it's pink, so you can add some other color to your pedal board. And also, these are the kind of effects that my kind of music doesn't really use a lot. Um, I mean, echo is something we use a lot. Sometimes tremolo, sometimes chorus. Um, but having a pedal that can do these things for when you want to is something that's important, which I have a couple other pedals on here that are kind of geared towards that. But for now, um, we'll talk about that one because it's a budget one. 50 bucks, you can get kind of a 16 type modulation center. It's pretty cool. 40 bucks, cab simulator. Not quite sure about that. I'm still doing research about if I'm gonna need that. Again, we're gonna get into that in the next video. These are all pretty pricey. This top one isn't though. So it's the Voodoo Oct Teva, made by Joyo. Um, this basically just lets you duplicate your notes up an octave or down an octave. I'm probably gonna get this, it's 30 bucks, and the tracking might not be great. I might end up returning it, but I'll definitely have a review of that coming out soon. And then these are kind of more pricey. So I've gone over some of the really budget pedals that I'm gonna be looking into. I'm also gonna be probably making another video, just a vlog style video, where one of the subjects are the expensive pedals that I'm looking into getting. But if you guys are excited for this series, where I'm gonna be building a pedal board and taking you along every step of the way make sure to hit a like make sure to drop a comment but we'll be back in a couple of days for the next episode which is going to be what these are for my actual design i'm going to be drawing out the design on paper so i got a legal notebook and i also got a graphing notebook from walmart the other day oh 
Is it kind of suspenseful that I'm not telling you what's going to be in the next episode? Absolutely. Absolutely it's kind of suspenseful, but I think that the suspense is going to be worth it. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.